everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom j and i'm your teacher for today happy learning factoring types of factoring so, number one, common monomial factor, PCMF. So, AX plus AY is equals to A times quantity X plus Y. Let's factor 6A raised to the 7 plus 18A cubed minus 14A squared plus 2A. So, solution. So, step one, find the greatest common factor, GCF, of all terms in the polynomial. So, iisa-isayin po natin siya. So, unayin natin si 6a raised to the 7. So, ito po yung kanyang factor. Factors. 18a cubed. 14a squared. At 2a. So, bilugan po natin yung mga factor na magkakapareha sila. So, yan po ang paraan kung paano kumuha ng GCF. So, ang kanilang GCF ay 2A. Step 2. Divide the polynomial by the GCF and the quotient is the other factor. So, ito po yung kanyang quotient, 3a raised to the 6 plus 9a squared minus 7a plus 1. Kung hindi po kayo marunong kumuha ng quotient ng ating polynomial, pwede po kayong bumalik sa step 1. At kunin yung mga natitirang factors nila. So, sa 6a raised to the 7, merong natirang 3a raised to the 6. Sa 18a cube, may natirang 9a squared. Sa 14a squared, may natirang 7a. Pero dahil negative po ang ating, but dahil negative po ang ating 14, so magiging negative 7a. At si 2a, dahil lahat po ay nakuha as a GCF, so plus 1 lang po tayo. So, yan po yung quotient niya. Yung mga natirang factors doon sa ating uh, step 1. Pag meron na kayo nakuha ang quotient at GCF, pwede na natin siyang isulat as their factors. So, express the polynomial as the product of the quotient and the GCF. So, gagawin lang po natin siyang product. Yung, mga, yung ating quotient tsaka ang ating GCF. So, yan na po yung ating factor. So, factor form for 6a raised to the 7 plus 18a cubed minus 14a squared plus 2a. So, checking. So, para mapatunayan na tama po ang inyong sagot, magmumultiply lang po kayo. So, ano lang po tayo? Babalik lang po tayo sa multiplying monomial to polynomial. So, using distributive property. So, dahil tama po yung ating factor, tama po ang ating sagot. Number 2, difference of 2 squares, that's x squared minus y squared is equals to quantity x plus y times quantity x minus y. So, factor x squared minus 36. So, step by step po yung ating gagawin. 
So, solution. So, step 1, write two parentheses, put a positive in one and a negative in the other. So, pwede naman po magkabalik na dyan. Step 2, take the square root of the first and last term. So, ang ating first term ay x squared. So, ang square root po niya ay x. Ang ating last term ay 36. So, ang square root po niya ay 6. Step 3, substitute the given square root of the first and last term in the pattern. So, ilalagay lang po natin si first term doon sa unang term ni binomial at yung ating last term sa, pang, sa huling term ng ating binomial or sa ating pattern. So, we have quantity x plus 6 times quantity x minus 6. So, yun na po yung ating sagot. And then, we check natin. So, gamit ulit po ang FOIL method or distributive property. So, ayan po. So, meron lang naman tayong pattern dyan. Pag dots, kailangan lang kunin ang square root ng first term at last term. At ilalagay lang natin siya as sum and difference of two terms. Number 3, sum and difference of two cubes. So, SOTC, ito po yung ating pattern. At pag DOTC, ito naman po ang ating pattern. So, let's factor F cubed plus 1,000. So, plus po ang ating operation, kaya SOTC po na pattern ang ating gagamitin. So, solution. So, take the cube root of the first and last term. So, ang ating first term ay x cubed. So, ang cube root po niya ay x. Ang ating last term ay 1,000. So, ang cube root po ng ating ng 1,000 ay 10. Substitute the given cube root of the first and last term in the pattern. So, gamitin po natin yung pattern na quantity x plus y times quantity x squared minus xy plus y squared. So, x plus 10 times x squared <coughs> minus 10x plus 10 raised to 2. So, 10 raised to 2 is equals to 100. So, ito po yung factor form niya. So, checking so, check natin kung tama ba yung ating nakuang sagot. So, mag-multiply ulit tayo. And then, i-cancel na natin. Yung mga dapat i-cancel. So, ang natira na lamang po ay x cubed plus 1,000. So, i-factor naman natin yung x cubed minus 1,000. So, operation po natin dito ay minus. So, DOTC po ang ating gagamitin na pattern. So, lahat ng... Um, Lahat ng sign ng ating trinomial ay puro positive. So, solution. So, ganun pa din. Take the cube root of the first and last term. Yan. Substitute the given cube root of the first and last term in the pattern. So, papalitan lang natin yung nakuha nating Yung nakuha natin cube root ng first at last term, ilalagay lang natin sa pattern. So, x minus 10 times quantity x squared plus 10x plus 10 raised to 2 or 100. So, yan po yung kanyang factored form. So, kapag uh, positive po ang ating uh, given negative po yung trinomial niya, yung gitna, yung middle term. And then, kapag ka minus po yung ating given, puro positive po yung kanyang trinomial. So, i-multiply lang natin yung first at saka last term para sa middle term. 
So, checking. So, ganun po pa rin. Magmumultiply tayo. So, i-cancel natin. Yung mga dapat i-cancel kasi 0 na yan. So, we have x cubed minus 1,000. Number 4, perfect square trinomial PST. So, we have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equals to quantity x plus y raised to 2. x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is equals to quantity x minus y raised to 2. So, kapag po ang ating trinomial ay puro positive, ang magiging pattern po natin ay quantity x plus y raised to 2. Pero pagka ang ating trinomial, negative ang middle term, ang ating factor ay quantity x minus y raised to 2. So, let's factor s squared plus 6n plus 9. So, lahat po ng sign na ating trinomial ay puro positive. So, solution. So, take the square root of the first and last term. So, pag perfect square trinomial, kailangan po ang first term at ang last term niya ay may square root. So, ang square root po ng ating first term ay n. At ang square root ng ating last term, which is 9, ay 3. And then, substitute the given square root of the first and last term in the pattern. So, papalit lang natin. Yung nakuha natin square root sa ating pattern. So, quantity n plus 3 raised to 2. So, plus po siya kasi puro positive po ang ating trinomial. So, checking. So, hindi na natin siya i-split. May shortcut naman po dyan. So, square the first term. So, n squared. Twice the product of the first and last term. So, we have 6n. And square the last term, which is 9. So, ayan. So, tama po yung ating sagot. So, factor n squared minus 6n plus 9. So, ang ating trinomial dito, yung middle term niya ay negative. So, ang pattern na gagamitin natin ay quantity x minus y raised to 2. So, ganun pa din. Kunin natin ang square root ng ating first and last term. And then, pag nakuha na, i-substitute sa ating pattern. So, dahil negative po ang ating middle term, so negative po ang sign na gagamitin natin. So, n minus 3, quantity n minus 3 raised to 2. So, yan po yung kanyang sagot. Checking, ganun pa rin. I-shortcut na lang natin. And then, number 5, general trinomials. So, ito kanyang pattern, x squared plus quantity a plus b, x plus a, b is equals to quantity x plus a times quantity x plus b. Applicable po yan kapag ang quadratic trinomial po natin ay a is equals to 1, where a equals to 1. So, factor natin ng x squared plus 11n plus 30. So, ang kanyang a dito ay 1. So, ang AB natin sa ating given ay 30 at ang A plus B is equals to 11. So, hanapin natin value ni A tsaka ni B. Na kapag minultiply natin, 30 ang sagot at kapag in natin sila ay 11 ang sagot. So, 6 tsaka 5. At pag nakuha na natin sila, si A tsaka si B, pwede na natin i-split yung ating trinomial sa as, bin as two binomial. So, si S squared N both uh, sa ating unang first at second binomial at si, uh, 6 saka 5 sa ating last term na ating mga binomial. Pwede rin kayong gumamit neto. So, identify natin yung A, B, and C sa trinomial. And then, write down all the factor pairs of C. Ayan. So, 
Step 3, identify which factor pair from the Bieber step sum up to B. Ayan. And step 4, substitute factor pairs into two binomials. So, ayan yung sagot. So, paano kapag ang ating quadratic trinomial ang A niya ay hindi equals sa 1. Pwede pa ka rin kaya gamitin ang pattern na to, kagaya nito. Factor 9k squared plus 34k plus 21. So, para sa buong detalye ng sagot para rito, please check my YouTube channel. Lahat po ng uh, lesson na narito ay nasa aking YouTube channel. So, pwede nyo siyang bisitahin. Nakapost po at uh, nakapost po sa aking page yung kanyang link. Ibibigay ko na lang po. Number 6, factoring by grouping. So, we have AX plus AY plus BX plus BY is equals to quantity X plus Y times quantity A plus B. So, i-factor natin yan. So, group the terms with a common factor. Factor out the greatest common monomial factor in each group. And step 3, factor out the common binomial factor and write the remaining factor as a sum or difference of the common monomial factors. So, yan po yung kanyang sagot. So, thank you po sa panonood. Para po sa buong detalye, bisitahin nyo na lamang po ninyo ang aking YouTube channel. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!